Hello YouTube, hope you guys are doing well. Today is another day of another trophy. Now we are tied with Panda at 16 trophies. Actually crazy that it's, I mean, it's only October. I mean, nearly November, uh, but we finally reached 16 trophies, which ties us with Panda 2.0, which is that 16 as well. So one more and we should be hopefully uh, more than him, but again, he did reach 16 trophies first, 15 trophies first. Pretty sure 10 trophies as well, yeah. 10 trophies first, up to 16. He ranked it up pretty damn quickly. And for now, he hasn't won a trophy in a while. But I'm guessing he'll win maybe soon, but it was a tough race. Uh, he can still win to 20 trophies. Uh, and he has a bunch of other accounts that has trophies on that he also has one on. So it's not just his main account. Uh, there's a bunch of others with like two or three trophies. I'm not 100% sure if he exactly won all of them because there's some sometimes some drivers uh, that won for him. But regardless, 16 trophies, actually insane. Uh, but today I'll be showcasing you what my offense was. Um, basically, how did I do on reset, weekly leaderboard, offense, defense logs, and the builds. So let's get right into it. We'll start with last 14 minutes. Uh, we are at 42-21 points. And this is when I started bombing. So my last 14 minutes are only bombs. So, first things first. We queue up into Chester, who runs the new Mythic Champion. I mean, I say new, but I guess it's kind of old now. It's been out for the past month, I guess. So we got Sheep and Astrolith. Uh, we landed block buffs on uh, UDK, but we spread both bombs. Everyone dies to bombs and it's a 15 second uh, win, even though we got shipped on Astrolith. Uh, so that's Chester's defense, uh, who has one trophy, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he does. So plus eight points for a quick 15 second farm was pretty good. Uh, we are down uh, quite a few points, so at the moment we are in top 5 uh, in point wise, but Mad Sui is currently leading by uh, extra 50 on top of what I have. So what we do is place bombs, uh, his merge was a bit slower than expected, uh, so she revived everyone else, not a big deal. The UDK is gonna die regardless, so the Mythic Champion buffs up gets the stone skin and torn off that's fine no big deal we also have revive we can strip stone skin and we can reduce the cooldown of taunt so we just tried to kill her asus rain should finish the job there we go and now we just slowly kill off taras slowly but surely uh, Suzerain has lower HP, so he's gonna target Suzerain first. He procs to parry, uh, so the unkillable buff, so it targets uh, Aslif, but it's fine since we have revive and he doesn't have AoE and he should die by now uh, because our two Hanarak is in damage gear and Aslif uh, has high attack to hit hard basically as well. So that's good. Back to Chester farming. We're not going to only farm Chester this reset, there's going to be a couple people that we can bomb uh, which made for fast, fast wins. So here, Merchka died, she only revived our vice which is the new mythical. Uh, she's going to put on stone skin and uh, taunt which I mean is kind of cool. I do like uh, the design, it's very unique, very different to be able to put stone skin and taunt. Uh, not a single champion does that apart from Arbys, which is cool. Yeah, not a single champion can put on stone skin like that. I know there is 
where you can steal it, where you kill a champion, you put in stone skin like Ilil, for example. Uh, but just putting on by itself of no other, I guess, uh, I don't know, implications or whatever is very cool. But again, this defense is still bombable. Uh, I'm sure he's gonna fix it next week. <laughs> So I don't expect to bomb him again, but 15 seconds for plus 7, it's so pretty good, since it's pretty consistent as well. Uh, we find him again with a refresh, we quickly refresh the leaderboard. We see at, we are at 42.45 and it's what, 10 minutes to go and we're near the top. So if we can make a lead basically now, that would be good. Again, Mari died last, or not last, but before UDK. So two champions got revived, that's totally fine, no big deal. We're gonna slow down Arbice, so Tara snooks before Arbice puts up buffs, so that way uh, she doesn't extend, uh, our, uh, he doesn't extend the Arbice buffs, like uh, Torn or Heals, and also she does less damage. So we just kill Arbice. He kills Astrid, that's no problem. We do have a nuke to Hanorak to deal with these type of situations. If Astralia dies, we have a like a secondary nuke to deal uh, with last champions. So could revive. He's gonna target Astralia, of course, since she's the lowest target. Uh, but doesn't really matter. To Hanorak does decent amount of damage just finish him off nearly dead there we go plus seven it was a bit longer uh but it's totally fine it's still consistent bombs so i didn't mind nine minutes left not far we're still in second place uh right after mad Spee, who also has the arbys defense exactly the same as uh, uh exactly the same defense as uh what chester's running actually we got shaped on Astrolev. We put Weakened on Taras, so he takes more damage. And there we go. Dead 17 seconds. Put a plus 7, but it's still worth it. Just trying to see anyone else. We spot NBF running a UDK Vokong plus Dior. This is very notorious uh, to bomb. Uh, defense so same team with uh, Arbiter I just tried to reduce his stand meter so uh, he revives slower by a bit doesn't really make a difference to be honest doesn't really make a difference so really whatever we we'll reduce his cooldowns so he doesn't have uh, attack up in case he does uh, use like a2 um, so you started off with A3, uh, A2 would probably be a lot better, it would do a lot more damage. But yeah, again, Aslo puts bombs, Sur Zorain strips the, strips the whatever that is. So I should have put Weekend on Taras here, I misplayed a bit, happens. Misplayed. But it's fine. He's gonna A3, still buffs. I still have revive. Uh, think I should win? It's a bit sticky. It's definitely a bit sticky. A1 or A2, both would have worked fine. Oh, 1 HP, that's unlucky. But it's fine. Just reapply weaken. He already has 2 times uh, weaken. So, not a big deal. He kills. That's annoying. That is annoying. But we have revived. Take off the shield. Arbiter dies. Wukong dies. We choose to use A1 to finish off. It was close. It was kind of close. Misplay at the beginning. And we got shaped at the beginning. So we lost half our damage. But we still recovered uh, just fine because of good builds. Quickly check defense. Mostly getting attacked by double towers. A uh, little bit of Georgia. No big deal. Last six minutes, we go back to bombing. We try a different team to see if uh, we can do it with Raka. But Raka it's faster, fast animations. But the problem with Raka is 
she doesn't have a 30% 10 meter boost and she doesn't have a 30% aura um, but it's fun we took a loss lost what six minutes happens no big deal we move on since we can still keep bombing him there we go we are reapplied weaken on uh, Taras to make sure he's dead here suzerain we gave 10 meter to suzerain so he takes a turn he ended up killing the Vokong, which is good this guy's up again counter attacked but no problem could have used a free there as well plus nine points so this one's definitely a lot more worth to farm instead of farming chester so we keep farming nbf with the wukong edk defense last five minutes time's getting tight we refresh the leaderboard we are in top three we are uh, around 15 points away from first place we do get hit on defense a bit but not too much it's fine to be honest it could be a lot worse so it's totally fine we kill udk 15 seconds we lucky there with 10 meters and stuff like that um, so that was good a 15 second farm we do like nbf again with the wokong i love these wokong defenses i do love them some people run it it's very rare to see to be honest but when you do see it's it's just free no reason not to farm that's why you always have to have a bomb team ready just in case for scenarios like these there we go we can kill this guy could have just a one maybe i could have uh, got this fight quicker but it's fine 27 seconds plus plus eight is really good it's really fast most people take fights which are like 90 seconds two minutes um so anything under a minute is really good to be honest and anything under 30 seconds is, is insane that's why bombs are such a nasty offense but it is hard to it is hard to build it is hard to execute it's hard to find opponents that you can bomb how to bomb it is definitely not easy as you know double taras offense or even like georgia offense so 27 seconds for a plus seven is still really good so we see if we find him there we go we find him here at the top of our list plus seven we are one point away from first place and it's three minutes to go it's here yeah, three three minutes three minutes getting close getting close you got the shield from from the mastery bone shield i think it's called or blood shield i think it's called blood shield yeah it's the same name as the accessory it feels, it feels so weird don't know why didn't they um, change the name or some shit but it's fine it's fine so we see the truth four trophies <coughs> sato's old account uh we pick a different offense here we pick with lydia uh we could go with arbiter as well it will work regardless but uh this is a little bit safer little bit safer just in case some 10 meter some 10 meter uh, happens but Araka Arbiter would still work basically the attack up so even though I saw Chester I went up with this this is uh, faster faster to beat there we go so here I should have used a free he lived the one HP it was crazy minus 14 in the last two minutes it was crazy we're on first place we're leading uh but yeah that was a mistake on my part uh should have a two here <laughs> making fights slower for no should have a two here as well but it went on auto uh happens couple mistakes here and there it is what it is making my life more difficult for no reason but it's fine 29 seconds could have been a lot quicker uh, but no big deal he's still there to attack but yeah just make a couple mistakes but it is fine last minute of reset so here he doesn't die so i can just use a two if he died he would get the blood shield 
and then I would need to use a3 because I wouldn't kill him but yeah we're still in first place 45 seconds to go we are like 15 points clear and we're trying to get one more fight in it's 40 seconds left 40 seconds left we're 15 points in the clear trying to get one more win just in case someone uh, you know uh, wins against us we see he gets the blood shield so we use a free makes the fight a little bit slower it's fine no big deal our uh, 200 rack is tanky enough to survive uh, Tara say one and she just goes through uh, with the counter attack so 12 seconds left we are 22 points ahead of first place the left leaderboard didn't update but this leaderboard did so touch was in second and ziggy in third uh, mask in fourth gypsy in fifth so let's go take a look at the leaderboard uh let me move myself here okay so top 20 or top 5 whatever you want to call it there was quite a few mad this reset that helped me get that trophy 100 percent to spread the spread the defense losses uh us attacking other top players actually helped so much there was only two people not from mad in top 10 which was uh, ziggy in third spot and uh sp panda in seventh slot uh, and then in top 20, we had SPMB League in 11, Sin Rodney in 15, and then we also had SP uh, Yorno and SP Sui in 1920. But else is mad, it's crazy. It is actually crazy. Regarding offense, so this was the offense log. Uh, it, go down, it goes down quite a bit. Uh, this was the whole log for the last 14 minutes actually crazy amount of fights uh i forgot to count uh but five on chester six eight on nbf eight on nbf and uh, five on uh, ipr the truth it's crazy actually crazy so five on chester five on uh the truth and eight on nbf wow actually wow all in uh, 14 minutes insane and regarding defense this is last half an hour of defense uh so last three minutes doc uh doc Monroe, i think his name is lost twice actually in three minutes uh tried to use an FOA offense and uh bombs which didn't work out but a couple of us there double tires that lost Wokong offense lost in FA, but quite successful defense to be honest. If this is last half an last half an hour, actually crazy. But yeah, regarding the builds, the builds of the 16th trophy. Uh, so we used bomb team. We only used bomb team. Only used bombs. Where's my bombs? There we go. Ashlift, the crown jewel. The crown jewel of the offense. I love this. By far my favorite champion, honestly. If anyone asks me what's my favorite champion, it's by far Aslip. There's no one else that can replace her. She's just a god. That's the masteries. Should probably move. Move my cam a bit. But yeah, there we go. That's the build, that's the masteries. Nearly 10k attack with decent speed, decent res. Uh, then we have two hand rank that spreads the debuffs, spreads the bombs basically. Uh, she's just in a new build in Savage. No insane stats, uh, but yeah, still does the job. Does the job just fine. I do like her quite a bit. And then we had Suzerain who strips, strips the block damage. Who we have in Sud Parry uh, in damage damage gear basically another damage uh, damage build just in case astrolith does die uh we have suzerain and 200 to clean up and then we used raka used raka uh and we also used arbiter so yeah arbiter is a bit rapid not gonna lie a bit fast uh but yeah it was a good reset. I enjoyed it so much. 
I actually enjoyed it so much. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And hope you guys have a good one. Bye.